There is this big plan in the transportation industry to significantly cut back on emissions. Depending on where you are on this earth, the goals are more or less ambitious, and the time frame for meeting them is more or less distant. In Europe, for instance, the idea is to cut back on emissions by as much as 90% compared to 1990 levels by the middle of the century. The aviation industry plays a big part in this effort, so the biggest players presently on the market are trying all sorts of solutions. When it comes to Airbus and its partners Daher and Safran, one such solution is the EcoPulse. The moniker was slapped on a modified Daher TBM business aircraft that was unveiled at the 2019 Paris Air Show and had its maiden flight in November 2023. By modified I mean it was turned from a single-engine turboprop into a multi-propeller distributed hybrid electric propulsion aircraft demonstrator meant to test and inform the industry on alternatives. Unlike the plane it is based on, which has only one propeller on the nose, the EcoPulse gained an extra six of them, three on which wing, bringing the total number of propellers to seven. Just to give you an idea of what that means, consider the plane in its normal configuration can only carry up to six passengers. Modifications did not stop there though. The new propellers themselves, called e-propellers and developed by Safran, spin under the power supplied by a turbogenerator driven by a gas turbine, and made by the same Safran, and a high-voltage battery pack which is the work of Airbus. The battery delivers 350 kilowatts of power. Since its first flight at the Tarbes, Lourdes, Pyrenees Airport in France the plane took to the sky a total of 50 times, clocking 100 flight hours. All this time was used to put the hybrid system through its paces, but also to give its operators an idea of what using such a setup would require. The last flight of the plane took place in July 2024, but it was only this month that the parties involved announced they had concluded the flight test campaign. And we also have a sense of what the demonstrator was capable of revealing about the future of aviation in terms of the maturity of the technology, performance levels, and operational limits. One of the things the parties learned from these tests is that the unprecedented onboard electric power levels, 800 volts DC network voltage, have the potential of doing exactly what they are expected to do, keep the aircraft flying safely. Then, the EcoPulse showed that synchrophasing the propellers used in this case can contribute to reducing interior noise, but can also substitute some of the plane's control surfaces when a careful distribution of electric power among the propellers is commanded. The idea behind this entire effort is to use the findings of the EcoPulse to inform the development of future aircraft, but also to create the basis for certifying the safety of innovative aircraft configurations. It's unclear if and when the EcoPulse results will make their way into the real world on an actual airplane, but chances are they will, provided regulators don't shift away from current plans for whatever reason.